have another dose! Can you shall receive? I did, and let's go. Got the legendary pad and hero from a pack. Nice, Dawson. Did you buy packs? Did you get some pre-order? First round, the meta dog gets infinite. It's true, actually. So maybe even in whilst imagine trying out all the classes, we actually get a leaderboard run going. I lead from the front. This scares me, chat. This scares me. I have hero power anyway, but that scares me. Yeah, we went 10-3-5, so that's not really a very good score. The 10 was actually really good, though. 10 for memes. And the 5 could have actually started to do quite well. Hmm. If I play goody two shields, it just dies. I genuinely think it's hero power into ram double rush. Or maybe if I don't play this, I just fall behind. The issue with playing this is they give Divine Shield to their 3-drop. So I'm actually just gonna do this. Let them take the value trade if they want. And this is how Honorable Kill actually works really nicely. Just think about it, chat. Okay. Same thing here. If I drop the Yeti, they just get the nice clean kill. So I'm actually... Now I could actually go goody 2 shields, but same, same reasoning, right? I could goody two shields and wave of apathy, but then I waste the spell burst, so I'm just gonna go with this. And I don't I, I still don't know whether it's the right play to do these. I don't know. Kin Kin name G, by the way, thank you for the follow. Must have uh, been when I was in the bathroom. I appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying this uh, here new Alterog Valley expansion. wave of apathy is interesting so is goody two shields hero power i like goody two shields hero power almost hothead wave of apathy if i hothead wave of apathy i have a four six against two crappers but then next turn i don't have a good turn they still, they, they still get the value trade here. I'm actually going to take this play. They probably don't kill this, which means we may get a hit in and go Hothead Wave of Apathy afterwards, get the Divine Shield back, and play the Gnome Private. Uh, try and stall out to the turn 8. We're going first, so we hope we have a Templar Captain. They kept two cards, so it may be they have a Templar Captain as well. Just had my opponent surrender in turn 3 of an Earl Mill kill on, on Corporal into double Divine Shields, yeah. That's why I literally played around it so hard, honestly. Because of exactly that. This is interesting now. Do I wave of apathy or is it not worth it? I wish I could Ice Hoof Ping. So I think this always happens. Genuinely, I don't think it's worth Hot Head Wave of Apathy. I think I'm just gonna go chill with Yeti and drop the private. Are you on the laptop, Kessie? I guess you are, right? Must be, must be.
Okay. Hold the bridge. Now that is one of the good ones we were talking about, right? They get the value trade. And honestly, Hothead Wave of Apathy wouldn't have even saved us there. What is this? Oh, I remember that card, actually. I remember that card. Huh. I think this always happens. I think I'm actually gonna do this. One, two, three. Trade here. Now they can't kill. And next turn I can drop a Proto Drake and trade in here to get the Divine Shields, right? So they may actually have to take this kill. Because otherwise I get the Honorable Kill, right? Five head. That is how you have to begin playing Honorable Kill, I think. I mean, people get used to it quite soon, but today it may honestly be really too confusing to think of. They're smart. They're smart. They're smart. Nice play. That is the correct play, in my opinion. The correct play. So I'm just gonna play this. And... This may give them the rush, so I'm gonna do this. Let them take that trade. I'll go face. Inquisitor can attack even if it's frozen. Only face. It can't attack itself, but it still goes face of you hero power. Yes, Thurder. So let's see whether they get a Templar captain here. What's this? <gasps> what? I get 8 damage face? Okay. And they have a Templar captain. Wow. That may be a bit much. So now I have to literally do this. Otherwise I lose, right? Wow. I think Silver Vanguard is going to be one of those unspoken heroes. Unsung heroes, whatever you call it. What are you going to drop? What is that? Oh, I forgot what this does, chat. Does anyone remember what this does, chat? The old Rafam? It was like deal 10 damage to all. Yeah, 10 cost spells? Yeah, yeah, but what do they do? Unstable evolution is back. Yeah, what do they do? Does anyone remember? It was like deal 10 damage. Give your minion plus 10, plus 10, plus 10, right? Oh, I'm kind of screwed. I guess I have to play Ice Hoof. Fill board with three threes. Okay. So, so far we're losing because they had... Weaponized Pinata into Rafam and their own Captain and Troll Centurion, right? Which is a bit much. 10 mana mask of Thune, 10 plus 10 plus 10, fill board with three threes. Okay, okay, okay. So I uh, deal 10 damage, split it is. Okay. I was close from like, damn, that's uh, such a long time ago I played that card. I, I used to play that in a constructed legendary kind of deck. And greetings, Major. Lovely to see you. This is also a really good card, I think. Interesting. Do they take the hit? It gets frozen, right? Uh, it's just worth it, right? The question is, which one do we kill? With me. For duty. Like, do I kill this on purpose? Or do I kill this and hope they don't have a ping? Or do I go middle ground? I think I kill this. I could even freeze this on purpose, so that they can't buff and pre-hit, and I think I will. They can buff this and trade in. Holy crap, these are some 5 head games. AoE-wise, they should only have Consecrate, right? Which I should be okay with. We still have Abominable and Templar Captain. Yeah. Could be. Eight eight drops look really strong. Look at this. Troll Centurion looks strong. Templar Captain is strong. Proto Drake is strong. Abominable is strong. 
So I think Silver Vanguard may be an uns unsung hero, right? You just play it? Even if you trigger it yourself, is, is there... Are there self-triggers in Hunter? Self-death rattle triggers anymore? Plus 10, plus 10? If they get plus 10, plus 10, I get a bomb in the bill. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Yeah, we know it's a plus 10, plus 10 now, right? It's the only one which targets your own minions. They changed their mind, but they have a plus 10, plus 10, so it's good to know. Interesting. Those are bad against my little 1-1 one, one shitters, right? Quicksand? Quicksand may be quite helpful. I kind of want this to stay alive another turn. So how are we going to deal with this board? Do we have lethal? 10, 15, 16, 17? Not quite. No, it's not banned. It's not banned. I think these 1-1s one, kill the 5-1, one, right? I think Quicksand gets played, and I think I play Judicious over Mage Scribe, so... I have to watch out for space though, so let's start with this. And let's see what we're gonna do. I guess I kill this one. And then this one. But they may have a ping again. It's unlikely though, right? I have to rush. I'll freeze their face. I may should have I may have killed this so they can't get through taunts. But it's 4 and 1 and 6, 5 here, so they shouldn't be able to kill Templar Captain. Order? From me? What was my order? Oh, wait. Yeah, I should have killed the 1-1. One, one. They could have gone the other way. Yeah, yeah I should have killed the 1-1 one, one there. Wow, that makes so much difference. I, I rope panicked, chat. I rope panicked. I mean, that was a huge chance. You should have played Gorubashi first. Yeah, I should have traded the 1-1 one, one there. Freeze face didn't matter. And I kind of have to kill this. Otherwise, I'm kind of screwed, right? Because they have a plus 10, plus 10. Can I clear everything? I can't, right? So I leave the 1-1 one, one alive? I guess. So we do this. 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 This, this, and this. If I push face, I'm a bit too scared. The Guru Bashi could kill me in just two turns, and they can also do a couple of trades and still kill me in two turns, which means I won't be able to kill them. I still have Templar Captain and Abominable, so I'm not really that scared. This passes their whole turn, they have to trade, and now I get clean trades back. Lock Hollard? What's a Lock Hollard? Chat, you gotta teach me now, okay? Chat, I, I ain't so good at this anymore, okay? You gotta teach me now. Because uh, I, I don't know any of the old new cards or whatever you want to call them. Eight eight rush wind fury that costs ten but costs five and below fifteen health. Oh, the new one. Ah, uh, that's not an honorable kill, chat. Ancient curse. The ancient curse. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think I should kill this and ignore the rest. Well, this can't get an honorable kill, right? So honestly, do I just not care about it? Do I kill the 7 4 instead? Maybe I do. Or maybe I just put. This is my that way? 
We'll see. Did he just draw the curse? Probably not. But this way, Consecrate is lethal. Hey, you can't get honorable kill. That is four, five, six, seven. Then that saves them unless we pick up Templar Captain. Do I full trade? I don't think I do, right? Because they just play another one. But maybe the hero power first and it dies with Sacred Trial. Because if I don't, the 7-1 goes here and I can never kill this, I feel. Hmm. What would you do here, chat? That may have been my worst possible draw, honestly. Because anything else would have survived, right? Yeah, but, but they trade here here and then I never get through this and then I have to specifically get a consecrate right Templar captain lieutenant would have been good consecrate would have been lethal ancestral garden would have contested the board basis would have contested the board hold the bridge would have been excellent candle taker would have contested the board the link would have been stealth gangster has stealth shield of honor would have given me lethal and Squire isn't very good. Trade the 4 or 5 to deny the value? I don't know. I don't know. Let, let them let them take this trade. I think it doesn't matter at this point, honestly. Because remember, this gives them another 5 7. So. I honestly don't know. Maybe maybe I did have to pre-trade and then pass. Okay, so... What is Tower Sergeant? Alright, we have a, a 1 in 10. And they have a 1 in 9 to lose, chat. I mean, come on. You trade, you trade, you trade, you trade. Just just don't mage scribe into healing, that's all. You trade. You trade. Two are lethal, Templar is also lethal. Uh, depending on what they play, yes. Hero power first, so your minion dies. I haven't seen it yet, though, Sim. Mermy? The Mermy's dead. Which is actually... Really good for them here. One and one, one and one. Now they can clear, so Templar is no longer lethal. Four and a four, four. Oh yeah, I've seen that. That is really good. I need Consecrate. Their deck is better than mine, chat, I'm telling you. Do they have lethal here? 10, 18, 22. They actually set up lethal. That helps me. Yeah, but they have lethal set up. 10, 18? Supposedly no lethal? Come on, why is no one drawing the curse and the consecrate, chat? The curse and the consecrate. I could have eaten a better target. Actually, I'm good here. I lead from the front. No way you go, old face. You have to kill this, right? Ah, interesting mix. Interesting mix. Interesting mix. So I have to eat one of these two, preferably this one, right? Otherwise I'm dead. Missed a 5-5? What do you mean, Mr. 5-5? Five five? The one off, right? One off.
Come on. We haven't... Uh, we, do you know how many chances we had for them to draw Curse and us to draw Consecrate, chat? This game is insane. So there's still one off, right? Which means they probably try and kill my Templar Captain here. And I have to high roll my Abominable again. Right? <sighs> Give me the Consecrate now, please, for all that is holy. Hold the bridge? That's actually really good here, right? That's the wrong eat. That's the wrong eat, but they do have to double trade. Or they can trade here. Come on, man. Where is the consecrate? Where is the shadow? That is the worst eat, random guy, yeah? By far. Actually, this guy is eating the wrong thing, man. Okay, okay. Well, that gives me a lot of turns. The heal. Oh no, now Consecrate doesn't do enough. If I draw Consecrate now... Squire. So now we're depending on a 20% curse, right? Yes, curse! <laughs> oh, that is a great game. Holy crap. Man, that's gone on YouTube. So if you're watching this on YouTube, like, subscribe to my channel because, hey, this is the first run of the meta and that game was already beautiful. So much tension, so much pressure, so much winning.